it's become really exciting to learn the anatomy and learn how fillers behave after they're injected and while they're injected. Hi, I'm Dr. Steve Weiner, a facial plastic surgeon from Santa Rosa Beach, Florida. So what inspired me to create the Atlas of Ultrasound Anatomy Facial Rejuvenation with my good buddy, Chris Zurich? It's because we needed to delve into anatomy in a different level. Chris Zurich is an anatomy professor and I became sort of an enthusiast with ultrasound. And so we combined both of our talents into one book. It's full of illustrations of the anatomy throughout the entire face and also injection techniques. And then I correlate that with ultrasound anatomy. I use several different ultrasounds, including Clarius, to give a broad spectrum of what images look like with different tools. The ultrasound anatomy was pertinent to injection anatomy. So what you need to know when you're injecting and what you need to look for when you're injecting, that's the most important part of this book. We're learning that anatomy is so highly variable. And we know that if we know the anatomy, that we are a safer injector. And we know there are complications related to anatomy. So if you know the anatomy before you inject, you're going to get better results and safer outcomes. I feel that ultrasound is great in preventing complications by looking for the vascular anatomy, by looking at where the filler has been placed in this patient previous to your injections. So it's very important because there are certain times where you don't actually really want to inject these patients, particularly if they've had silicone, and silicone shows up very well on ultrasound. So when you inject the nose, the deep piriform, the temple, it's very important to know where that anatomy is, even in the forehead if you do foreheads. So looking for the vascular anatomy, which is the most highly variable anatomy of all the face, you need to know where it is before you plan your injections. First and foremost, you need to know your anatomy. So I think learning ultrasound goes hand in hand with cadaver labs. So you really have to see what's beneath the skin to understand what the ultrasound shows you. Take a look at my textbook, do it over and over again. I'm still learning even though I have a textbook. It just takes time. Don't let the time factor of examining patients dissuade you. Clarius is very unique in that they really had a desire to be at the forefront of aesthetic medicine. Clarius took the bull by the horns and they've been investigating and upgrading their software constantly. In fact, they took it to the next level with the AI. So that is going to shorten the learning curve. The AI is gonna help you learn your anatomy and discern between tissue layers. So Clarius has really changed the game because they've really invested a lot of, in the engineers and AI and to try to make their ultrasound the best handheld on the market. So the AI mode for Clarius is called the T mode and they've already designed it for the temples, the cheek and the lips. It allows you to put the ultrasound on those particular areas and by pressing the button, it tells you exactly what you are looking at color codes it and actually labels it. So you see the different fascial layers, you see the bone, the muscle, and the temple, and in the cheek, you see the deep fat, superficial fat, the smaz layer, and in the lips, you see the superficial fat and the muscle. It's really going to shorten the learning curve, I believe, and bring more widespread adoption of ultrasound.